Hello everyone, today's video is about registering a full online. Before you get started, a few things to have together. The dam's name and registration number, the sire's name and registration number, the breeding details, including the breeding dates, the birth date of your foal, its color, gender, and markings. You will also need at least five pictures of your foal saved to the device you are using. The pictures will need to be full view of the horse with no other horses in the background. The pictures should be a front view, hind view, and one of each side of the horse, plus a three-quarter view where we can easily see the horse's face and all four legs. If drawing the markings on the back of the application allows you to better show the horse's markings, you can also upload a copy of it. So have it scanned and saved to your device if you plan to include it with your application. A quick reminder, aqha.com is most compatible with the web browser Google Chrome. So be sure that you have it downloaded and ready to use. If you do not have your online account set up and linked to your ID number yet, please refer to the Help Center and get that set up before proceeding to the online registration. It's also helpful to have your payment information entered before starting the registration process. Once you have these things together, then you are ready to get started. Log into the member site and check to be sure that you are logged in with the correct ID. This should be the owner or leasee of the mare at time of foaling or breeding if this is an embryo foal. So in order to log in, we'll go up here and we'll make sure our ID numbers are matching for the ownership of the mare at time of breeding or foaling. Once you're logged in, click on registration. Now you are on the online registration page. Since we are starting a new application, click on the button, enter new full registration. Now I'll enter the details about this foal by selecting a breeding method. If the foal was produced by an embryo transfer, I'll select it as well. If it was not by an embryo transfer, I'll skip that field. So we have a breeding method of frozen semen. This was not an embryo, so we'll disregard the embryo type. Enter the foaling date. We'll enter the country it was fold in, United States, and it was fold in California. Now if it was entered in Canada, you'll also select the province as well. Then enter the sire's registration number and click tab. So we'll go and enter the stallion's number. Hit tab. The system will show you his name so you can confirm you entered the correct registration number. I'm a smoke and zipper, so this matches the registration number I entered. And you'll do the same for the dam's information. Hit tab. The jazz. And we'll validate the sire and dam once the both are entered. Once this is done, the stallion breeding details will be shown below. Select the breeding dates that correspond with the application you are entering by placing a check mark next to it. If the stallion breeding report was not listed, then you will need to enter the breeding dates in the fields provided below. And if there is not a stallion breeding report to check, AQHA will initiate a letter to the stallion owner to get the breeding report filed once the registration application is submitted. If DNA or parentage verification is required because of the breeding method used, this will be pre-selected in the genetic test area. So if we scroll down below, we'll have the genetic test. Since the breeding method was reported by the stallion owner as frozen semen, 
this is required to have the full um, DNA typed as well as parentage verified. And so the DNA kit for an unregistered horse is already selected. Please review all of these and select any other test you may want to get done before the foal is registered. Once this area is complete, click on the green Save button. As you can see, we have an error above. The breeding certificate has not been released online. This could delay your registration at the office. This will not be a hard stop on the application. It's just letting you know that the stallion owner at time of breeding has not released that breeder certificate online, but we are still able to proceed. So we will hit ignore on the top right corner and we'll scroll back down and hit save once again. Now the system will let you know that the following information has been saved successfully. If you do not see this green notification, um, you need to make sure that you have saved the steps thus far. The next section is called Basic Details, and we will gather the personal details about your horse. You'll click on the plus sign to the right to open the panel. Enter a name you would like to validate for naming your foal and click on the check availability button. If the name has already been used or is not allowed, you will receive a red X. Once you have selected a name that passes the initial validation, you will be given a green check mark. If you have reserved names, they will be listed for you to choose from. And you can do so by clicking on the name below in the reserved horse names box. After the name is entered, then select the color and gender of your foal. Below, there are additional options for handling, and you can then choose any that apply. If your application has a transfer with it, click the transfer box and then click the save green button. We do not have a transfer that applies, or a rush fee, or an overnight mail service, or a racing challenge, so we are ready to proceed. And once again, the system will let you know that the basic details section has been successfully saved. The next section is for markings. As before, we'll scroll back down and click on the plus sign to the right to open the marking section. If your horse does not have white markings, scars, or brands, you can click on the no markings box in the top left corner of the full marking section. If it has markings, then do not click on this box. If your horse has been microchipped, input the microchip number in the electronic implant field, which is to the right of the no markings box. Now in the markings area, select the applicable markings by placing a check mark next to them and clicking on the add button. You will only select the areas with white markings. If unsure, select what you believe is closest, and we will verify against the photos to confirm. So we'll add our markings here. This particular foal has a blaze. a right for sock, and socks on the hind feet. Now that we have all the appropriate markings selected, we'll click add. To the right of the mark body markings list, you will see the body markings added. These will be all the markings that will be listed on the registration application. 
If your horse has been branded, click Add in the Brand section. Then choose Brand in the Brand description. Tell us if it is on the left or right side of the horse in the direction box. And then tell us where it was branded in the body part box. Then click the apply button. This particular horse is not branded, so we will discard that. If you scroll down, we can select the color of the mane, tail, and each eye. If the horse has other markings we need to know about, this is where you can add the information in the comments box below. If nothing additional needs to be added, click the Save Green button in the right corner. Perfect, our full markings details has been successfully saved. If we scroll back down to the next section, This is where we will upload our photos, and once again, you'll click the right plus sign to open up the photo upload section. You'll click on the image upload and navigate to the photos you have saved on your device. Here is our front photo. You'll click on the photo and then the picture will show in the box. You'll repeat this for each photo, uploading the photo to correspond with each description. Make sure the photos are clear images of your horse. If you also want to upload the drawn markings, that can be done into one of the photo boxes. A photo must exist in each one of the panels except the one labeled markings. Once all the photos have been uploaded, click on the Save button. So we'll finish uploading our photos. Perfect, we have all of our photos uploaded. Now we can click Save. Once again, look for that green notification at the top of your screen that the photo upload has been successful. We'll scroll back down to the next section. After the markings have been entered, if you select a transfer earlier in the process because you have sold the full, you can click on the plus sign to open the transfer section. Again, if no transfer is needed, then you are ready to click on Add to Cart button, and from there you can proceed to check out. For this example, I will show the transfer details section. To transfer the ownership, you'll enter the ID number for the person who bought the horse and tab out. The buyer's name and address will be displayed so you can confirm it is the right person and enter the date of sale. If the horse was bought prior to it being born, use the date following the date of birth. If you do not know the buyer's ID number or if they are a new customer, then click on the new customer box and you'll fill in the name and address information. Once the buyer's information is entered, then click on the save button and proceed to adding it to the cart. Once it is added to the cart, then we can proceed to checkout.
For this example, we will not have a transfer on this particular full, so we can add it to the cart. Remember that items do not stay in your cart for an extended amount of time, so it is important to check out in a timely manner. We will proceed to check out. If you already have a payment method saved, it will be listed in one of these selections. If not, you will check Add Payment Method. The system will notify you that your credit card will be successfully charged the appropriate amount, and you will have a receipt sent to your email address on file. After you have paid for the application, if a DNA kit was ordered, you will receive it by email and you will also receive the email confirmation that the application has been submitted for processing. Thank you for applying for a registration online. For assistance, please contact the AQHA Member Experience Team at 806-376-4812. Thank you all.